Hello again. My name is Cord Sankstake. I'm a design engineer here at Sheldon Manufacturing. Today, I'm going to be introducing the SVAC-E Vacuum Economy Oven line of incubators from Sheldon Manufacturing. Designed for labs and industries that demand uniform drying, outgassing, and precise temperature control, these ovens are perfect for your needs. Whether you're in electronics, aerospace, pharmaceuticals, or other research industries, this unit provides consistent and reliable results at a cost-effective price. Let's take a look inside both of these units. On the left, you will find the SVAC 1E, which is approximately one cubic foot capacity. On the right, the SVAC 2E, which is about two cubic feet. On both these units, which are identical outside of the capacity differences, the first thing you will see is the tempered glass viewing window. This allows you to look inside the chamber without actually opening the product. This sturdy glass, coupled with the uh, superior gasket technology, provides an excellent seal between the inside of your chamber and the outside. Additionally, you will notice that the chamber is constructed out of corrosion resistant materials to help increase the longevity of your unit. Below, you will see the control panel, which we'll discuss more in a moment. Now, let's take a look at the back of the unit. The first thing you will notice is that on both of these products, the power cord is hardwired to the unit, meaning there's nothing to connect or disconnect right out of the box. Located to the left of this, you will see the externally located fuse drawer. This will allow the user to replace the fuse easily in the field without having to contact a service technician or any difficult things like that. Moving over to the other side, you will find the vent connection and the vacuum connection. These ports are connected to the gas system within the chamber and they'll make some more sense when we discuss the control panel in a moment. Let's get the units connected to electrical power. It is important to note before I turn these on that each unit must be connected to a properly grounded electrical outlet before you power it on. For details related to electrical installation, as well as other installation requirements, such as clearances, please reference your user manual for details. Turning the products on using this green power switch, the control panel becomes available. The first thing you will notice is the temperature knob. This analog knob is used to adjust the temperature set point within your unit. For details on how this works, how to calibrate, how to uh, know which temperature you're actually working at, please reference, again, your user manual for detailed instructions. Moving on to the right, you will find the vacuum gauge. This provides an analog reading of the pressure inside your chamber. Next, we have the vent knob and the vacuum knob. First, the vacuum knob. This will allow you to turn a valve by hand that opens up the vacuum tube on, located on the back. The vacuum tube located on the back is where you connect your external vacuum source. If you don't have your own vacuum source already, please visit our website or the user manual for details on how to purchase one that'll be compatible with this unit. Located up top is the vent slash backfill knob. After you pull a vacuum inside your chamber, you'll find that it's pretty hard to open up the door and access the stuff inside. For this reason, we've added this knob that allow you to back flush either with uh, ambient atmosphere or a gas of your choice um, to back flush the chamber with pressure so that you can actually open it up. Whether you need safe and controlled solvent removal to cure or degas components without oxidation, or to safely dry and remove moisture from heat sensitive samples, Sheldon Manufacturing's SVAC E series of vacuum economy ovens are perfect for your needs. They offer unmatched reliability, efficiency, and affordability. 